right, so um, I told you last week that I would be bringing Mosque and Mosque declined to come in the House Council at Mosque. Uh, he says that what his role is actually is more like council. It has to be done in private and all sorts of things. That he didn't want to just sit here and make speculations about the general, the general, the general nature, about what we're doing, and so on. So you, some of you asked, and I asked him. That was the answer I got. Um, so. At the last meeting of uh, this uh, group, this committee, we uh, voted to uh, send the question to the House of Council and, and, give, and ask the Council to advise us on how we should proceed from this point forward. And so the Council prepared a report, and uh, the Council will distribute it to the members. And uh, what we'll do is we'll each have an opportunity to spend a little bit of time to read it. And uh, I'll ask the council to make a presentation following uh, members' uh, reading of the report. And uh, then you'll be able to ask questions of the council after the presentation. Uh, and we'll proceed from there. Today, the notion of the legislature being involved in legal cases of court proceedings um, is, is one that's, um, be, that bewilders us. It's foreign to us. What you need to understand is the context in which the uh, 1792 amendments to the Constitution were passed. At that time, it was commonplace for the legislature essentially to act as an appeals court. Dissatisfied litigants would bring their cases to the legislature, and the legislature would, in many instances, pass legislation granting a new trial, and then there would be a new trial. Eventually, in, in 1818, in a case called Barrow versus Sherburn, um, which is one of the greatest examples of plagiarism in the history of jurisprudence, since it essentially plagiarized Marbury versus Madison, our Supreme Court said, and, and by the way, Marbury versus Madison was another astounding example of uh, plagiarism because that plagiarized Alexander Hamilton and the Federalists. But be that as it may, in 1818, the New Hampshire Supreme Court said the judiciary will no longer go along with legislation that grants dissatisfied litigants new trials. We think it's a separation of powers, and therefore we won't enforce that law. Perfectly valid decision, in my opinion. 